Hey, fish heads, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know how awful the background noise is going to be from the AC unit in the background of the shop. I will do my best to get out here earlier tomorrow so I don't need to have it on. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in Arkansas, so it's going to be hot. Um, it was just a late night um, filming, editing, and spraying, so I didn't get to bed till probably like 1.30 in the morning. So unfortunately, it was already hot out here in the shop, even though it's attached to the house. Um, it was just it, it was just hot, so I apologize for that. So today, I kind of had you guys in a different angle, only because I'm going to be here working while I'm going through this stuff because I need to get stuff out in the mail, except for this piece. So we'll start out with this little guy. I'm going to bring the, the light over the camera so you guys can see this a little bit better. So. Um, I know this is probably like the third video I've mentioned this, but thank you again from Andrew DeBay, um, who sent me a swim bait. He wants me to paint, which is fantastic, but he also sent me this little gift, and I don't buy these things. I've never, as a matter of fact, I've never bought one of these preformed crawl patterns, but they're very cool. I like the mold. They're extremely realistic, and to kind of accentuate that, I just threw a little tail on the back part of this. But this is all um, free, stencil, free of stencil except for the tail. It's all just freehand spraying. And there's zero true black on this. It's all the detail black magenta, a little bit of sepia, some really dark greens blended in here. And uh, I tried to make it as realistic as I could. Um, I really only gave it about 20 minutes to spray. I did this while I was eating my lunch and I know you guys are like you, you work for yourself you can do stuff anytime you want but that's not how I run my business so I have to be real regimented or else I'll kind of fall off the rails because I'm one of those people that likes to get into everything uh, as you can see through the video uploads I've been a professional musician I've recorded two albums I'm working on um, content for a third album which is why you guys are seeing heavy re-releases of my second album um, so there's just a lot. I like to stay busy. It's really hard for my brain to shut off. So in order for my brain not to run away with me or coping me mechanisms like bourbon, um, I tend to try and be as creative as possible and, and have positive outputs for my head. So that's what I do. But in the meantime, I have to run a business as well, so I have to stay regimented. I have a routine just like when I was in the military, and it gets me through my day. And if you guys are having issues with trying to manage your time, especially have, if you have a head that tends to get away with you, like if you, if you like to do a lot and get distracted easily, I guess in today's world they call that ADHD. Or as my mom used to call it, ADT. She would joke with me. She's like, oh, I, I don't believe in that ADT stuff, Jen. And it was always funny. I'm like, Mom, that's an alarm company. <laughs> and she would say, there's a break-in in your head. <laughs> so, yeah, we have fun with that. I love you, Mom. I know you're listening. You watch this stuff. So, um, yeah, bourbon is fun, but it, it's not really a long-term fix. So, be creative. And then regimented routines. If you have to write your routine down, do that. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. This is a seven piece order. It's the very last of the April orders because I was looking for this bulk order to come in. And instead of shipping somebody piece and piece and piece, if they have a larger order, um, I, I try and get it all done. So this is for David Daniel. I, I hope I didn't mispronounce your name, Dave. Uh, you have been kind and patient and I appreciate it. This is your seven piece order. I'm gonna feature this, the Yellow Frog. I was actually thinking about removing this from the website, um, but you guys seem to like it. Every time I think about it, somebody orders a few more of them. So I had like two back-to-back -back orders with this. So I'm, I'm sort of reimagining the website because there's a lot, a lot, a lot that's coming down the pipe this year. Um, and it's gonna be a crazy fall and winter. Uh, we'll get into more of that later on. Not this video, down the road. There's good stuff happening. So, very excited about it. You guys can probably figure some out by your own, um, <laughs> by your own heads. This is the Ozark Goblin. Real pretty goblin crawl on a wiggle wart. Just super clean. This is at brand new KBS. 
I was talking with Mike Buca the other day. We've been talking quite a bit lately, um, not by chance or coincidence, but um, we were talking about epoxies, and he was asking why I like what I like, which is KBS coatings. And I've seen a lot of epoxy type stuff come down, and it's it's not that it's bad. It's, it, some of it is much easier to use than KBS, um, or at least it's less finicky, let's say, than some of the older versions of KBS has been. But um, my my thing with it is, once it's hard and dry, and on your bait, there is nothing clearer that doesn't yellow, that's consistent, that I've ever found than KBS. And, and yes, I do work with KBS. It's not a paid sponsorship by any means, um, but we do have a partnership. So I have to, I have to get that out in the open. But just, just to say, because I test stuff for them on occasion, it's the truth. And I wouldn't be with a company that I didn't believe in. And I do such a volume of baits at this point that I'm not just gonna say it because they, you know, are partnered with me. I wouldn't use them if the stuff didn't work. Um, so I believe in it. I'm just telling you that straight off. I mean, look at look at the quality of the clear. It's blemish free, and I'm showing you that in the light reflection on purpose. I'm showing you guys that on purpose. This is that bluff crawl part of David's order also have the red hot that bright bright fluorescent on the belly up into a red into a deeper red fun 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 and i mean that, that just shines right there that is a fun fun bait to do and i'm, I'm sort of looking on the camera screen and i'm talking away from the good mic. I have no idea how this video is going to come out. I'm tired, folks. I apologize. Here we've got this northern gill. Nice crackle on there for Dave. And got another discus going out. You guys love these red discus. You absolutely love them. And I love painting them for you. And another winter green. So I upgraded him to some holographic foil stuff. So it's a little shinier, a little poppier. And then you guys saw the majority of these yesterday. So I'm not going to show them off to you guys again today except to say the Troy they're coming they're coming Troy here they come and you guys have been again everybody's been patient with me because the the logistics of trying to get to, god I'm so tired can we just have 2021 that's all I'm saying the logistics of trying to get stuff this year has been a nightmare I was talking with another buddy of mine um Corey Van Vonderen who's just he everybody's at their wits end with trying to get stuff whether they're running a tackle shop. Corey happens to, and he's been running, his, he owns his own fishtails. You can find it on Facebook. Um, fishtails, and he also has a really awesome custom lure business, and he cuts stencils as well. So I got to give him a shout out. I've known him for a long time. He's also a fellow admin on Bass Baits by and Barter, and I know that times have been tough, so we, we miss you guys on Bass Baits by and Barter on Facebook. We really do. Um, but all that to say is that, you know, we, we've all kind of been going back and forth. And, and if you guys are feeling it, drop me a comment below. If you guys are merchants or you are lure distributors or whatever type of industry you guys are working in, we'd, we'd love to know because I know that we're not alone. Um, and, and we try not to, to go on and on and on about the difficulties of trade and the economy this this spring but and summer now it's dragging into summer but it gets to the point where it's just like okay we've got we've got covid we've got the economy's crashed we've got murder hornets <laughs> i'm sorry but 
folks, uh, we've been spraying those murder hornets as, you know, baits for years. It's nothing new. So that is a sensationalized bit of rubbish. I'm just going to leave that where it is. Um, COVID obviously is real. But that's There's no doubt there. I'm not even going to get into the politics. But anyways, it's just like, okay, so tomorrow we're going to wake up and there's going to be like this multiple choice question. It's like, okay, press A, B, C, and or D, all the above. Do you want murder hornets? Do you want locusts? Do you want famine? Do you want the economy to crash? Do you want COVID? Or it's like, it's always something this year, just when you thought the year was going to get better. Ah, so, and I'm missing my family. I really, really miss seeing my family back on the East Coast. I would have already been home a couple of times to see them. <sighs> okay, I'm tired. It's clear. I love you guys so much. Thanks for letting me rant for just a few minutes. It just, um, I know you guys feel what I feel. I think we're all going through that. Um, I remember how I was looking at the video the other day where I'm in the car, like, this has just started. It's like March, and people are talking about shutting down, and it's, you know, it gets to a point where it's just, okay, what what next? What are we going to do next? You just have to try and live your life, and you have to try and live your life by the law and be as, as good about it as you can. Um, I, I think it makes less sense to, uh, to be negative. I still feel that. It makes less sense to be negative about it. There's only so much you can do about it, folks. Um, we, have to get, we have to get through it. And hopefully, August, September, the fall, winter, they're going to be good months. So keep the optimism in your hearts. Keep moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, thank you for supporting small business. If you guys are not merchants, if you guys are just people that check out custom lures and anglers, thank you so much for choosing American small businesses. Um, it means a lot to us. It is our bread and butter. It is the only way that we can continue to feed our families. Um, and we love you. We love you guys very, very much. And we're doing everything that we can to make sure that you guys are getting the orders that you've ordered as timely as we can get them to you. Um, but finally, I'm through April, in the middle of May, should be through May. I want to say, and I know I've said that before, but this was, I've got got orders I've got bulk stuff in now that I didn't have before so hopefully we can ride that consistency current through the fall so I love you guys let's keep it real um, this has been your soapbox moment from Jennifer Cravassi at Jekyll Bates you guys I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching cheers and happy casting with lots of background noise from Jekyll Bates